Hey, beautifuls. I'm just Jackie is here. I'm back. I know y'all like, girl, this is like the third look you're giving us with the same, not the third look, but the third video you're giving us with the same look. Yes. This is called productivity. Listen, I'm going, I'm just going to do, I'll talk about that in another video, but anywho's I'm here because like, I, you know, I said in a previous video, filters got y'all fucked up. Like I don't enjoy doing makeup like I used to anymore. You know what I'm saying? But I still want to give the girls, you know, something to work with on my YouTube channel. So for me, I don't do makeup every day. This is my makeup, my natural face. Shout out to the sunlight just hitting, just coming through these windows and just giving me the perfect lighting today. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I had to shout out the, shout out the sun because uh, it is what it is. I do have lighting on, but it's not directly on me. I really have it on the backdrop to kind of bring life to the backdrop. But anyway. All that being said, um, I'm back. Here I am. Like, I don't want to, I don't do makeup every day. But, you know, uh, some, you know, like, if you, if you want to just, you know, say you still go to the, I don't go to the office, you know. We do Zoom meetings, like, three days a week, though. But, you know, say one day I want to, you know, give it, give it to them. Like, okay, oh, you know, y'all always getting plain Jane Jackie. Let me just do a little, little soft makeup little soft look, you know, for my peoples, let them know, like, whatever, I can do this, look, I really be doing the makeup thing, like, oh, this bitch going somewhere, going on a job interview, yeah, whatever, they don't know, it's, <laughs> I just do what I do, you know what I'm saying, so, but really, I really don't like doing makeup like I used to, I do like doing my makeup when I want to get dressed up and go, you know, go out and hang with my peoples or whatever, but just for everyday wear, this is the, the look I would do every day, if, I did put makeup on every day, okay? So, anyway, I already primed my face. I used the Urban Decay um, All Nighter. I did a review on this. Y'all want to check it out? If I remember, I will put the link in the description box below. So, face is already primed. Um, I'm gonna st I start with my brows, you know, when I do my face. So, anywho... So I'm getting up on, I, I have no mirror. I'm really sitting in front of this camera, just giving it to you guys today, okay? So, again, I already primed my face. And I'm not going to go hard with the brows, you know what I'm saying? Because I want to just keep like a, as natural as possible face. But like, give y'all a face without looking like I did so much, okay? Girls, y'all just don't know. When I come in closer, my eyes have to refocus. I don't have my glasses on. Far-sighted, I'm popping. Near-sighted, getting a little shaky over here, y'all. My near-sightedness is getting shaky at my, my older age because it ain't even about my age. Let's just keep it about. Um, it just so happened to progress as I get older because my career is changing, you know, and I'm on the computer all the time now for work, like accounting. No, you know, back in the day, accounting was not computerized. Everything was done on paper. Now we have computerized accounting. Everything's on some type of software, whether it be QuickBooks or whatever, right? So, yeah. That's what we're doing. And I know y'all seen a couple of videos where I put the little red in the front. I'm not going to do that. I'm not doing that. My roots are growing out now from the color. So I just want to keep it all like, like a nice soft brown. And this is my Holy Grail. This is my Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pencil. I told y'all I like pencils. All right. Um, hold on. I got shit everywhere, y'all. I'm looking for my other pencil. I hope I didn't leave it over there. Oh, here it goes. And I can't, I cannot remember the company I got this pencil from. They sent me two pencils. This is really a nice soft brown. It got the angle, so I could just angle it and do like little short sweeps up. Cause I like to have my brows light in the front and then heavy as you go to the tail, like. You know, that's me. That's how I like to do my brows. I didn't even need to do that because I still got to finish my brows. 
Y'all, I've never done my brows like without a mirror in, in front of me so I could check it. So this might not be perfect. I'm sorry. It's never perfect, but you know what I'm saying. Like my how I like to normally rock my brows. So, all right. Like y'all always don't brush and brows because I like I feel like they move as you put on the makeup. So, but yeah, I'm doing a talk and a face. Talk, talk and face. All right, so, so we're not spending so much time on things. Now I'm gonna take this concealer from It Cosmetics. I, it says it's deep. I know y'all hear this all the time when I bring up some It Cosmetics that I'm using, but I bought this from uh on the infomercial and i'm just gonna you need all you only need a little bit of this stuff you know warms with the skin but and i use this for to finish my brows and to prime the eyes as a you know but i'm probably putting too much on today you know nothing ever goes right on video and then i want to take one of my um my makeup brushes this is from o ofra it's a, it says professional makeup number 11. I like it because it's, it's like flat. I don't use this for no eyeshadow. I specifically use this to finish my brows. And again, this is going to be difficult for me because I'm close up. And I told you my vision is jacked when I get closer. So yeah, I'm just finishing off my brows, y'all. And then I just bring it down like this. Real quick and simple. I will say you got to work quick with this sometimes, this particular concealer, because I feel like sometimes it dries out super quick before I can, like, smooth it all the way out like I want it. But it's doing pretty good today. Doing pretty good today. So, and I didn't use too much. I think I used the right amount. It wasn't too much. Yeah, for, for the type of face I'm doing today, like a light... Light, airy face, y'all. Just a light, simple, airy face. Now, this one might got too much on it, but we'll see. Because that brow bone right up under this area right here, I be liking to have it pronounced by the time I finish my eye makeup. But see, this one, I put too much on this side. See how the, <laughs> see how the eye's different? So let me see if I can add some over here. Nothing ever goes right when you're on camera. You know that, right? You know that, right, girls? So. So, let me just keep going. Get the shape that I'm going for. Yeah. Way too much on this side. How I put too much on one eye. If anything, I would have had I would rather have too much or too not enough on both eyes. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, nothing ever goes right when you on camera. So just trying to make use of the excess. That's all I'm trying to do. Yeah, let me keep going. Bring some more over here. Just trying to balance it out. That's it. But I'll balance it out when I finish it off. But yeah, I like this one. I like this concealer. This thing really cleans up my brows. I haven't like uh, trim my brow hairs in weeks and, and you know how sometimes you do your brows and the hair still show through it will not show through on this concealer baby okay facts so now once i do that i'm just take the warmth of my finger and just like kind of blend it a little bit that's all blend it that's all i'm doing and like and my makeup tutorials, beautifuls, they real simple and easy. You can just follow along and, and you're good to go. I want to take my um, Estelle, Estelle, Estelle Lada Double, fuck, <laughs> Estelle Lada Double Wear Foundation, and I'm just going to set it. I don't even use this on my face. I only use this to set my concealer. Just, you know, for my eye, just like this. 
like I said, when you know certain things, what works for you, like, you know, your foundations and your powders, I like, I wasn't going to toss this out just because I'm not using it as a face powder. I found another use for it. You know what I'm saying? So thank God I, I did. So done with that. I want to come back, brush these brows. I want to touch up the tail because sometimes I feel like the tail gets, uh, you know, tampered with when you're finishing off the concealer and it gets like re removed a little bit. All right. So that's my brows, y'all. That's it. Now, the next step I'm going to go to, I'm, I'm going to do the eyes, but it's a simple eye. It's a simple eye. So I'm going to start off with what brush I want to use. Hmm. All right. I'm going to use this brush. I'm going to use this fluff brush. I'm going to go on the Too Faced Chocolate Bar. And I'm going to use Cocoa Truffle, which is this brown right here. Let me get it right. This brown right here. And I'm going to use that just to just dust all over my eyes. And that's it. It's going to warm my eyes up. And that's it. Um, I'm gonna keep it real. Mm, I figured out once I finish dusting this on my eyes, and then I figure out how far I want to go. But when I'm just dipping back in, but see how it just wakes up the eye a little bit, just just a little bit, just enough. Remember, this is the everyday simple face. Like if you just want to run out the house real quick, cause we, this is we COVID. This COVID face, you know what I'm saying? Quick COVID trips to run out to the store if that's what you got to do. If you if you got to go to a, a, a meeting in an office, like they be trying to make us do at times. Um, you know, quick ass face. I'm just going to dust it again on just on the lid. So, yeah, I'm just going to use this one color. This cocoa truffle. Okay. And that's it. And then just, like I said, blend. It's all about blending and shit. It ain't too much to blend. I'm only using one color. And I just want to make sure I'm hitting all the spots. Okay. So that's the eyes. Simple. All right. Easy. Simple. Now, we're going to go to the next step. Next step is foundation. I'm going to do a foundation. I want to go with my Holy Grail. I'm going to go with my MAC Waterproof Foundation in the color NW45. Um, I'm going to try to figure out how do I want to do it. You know, I normally I take my finger and dab it. I'm going to put it on the back of my hand. This one's almost empty, but I already have a replacement. And if y'all saw my empties video, y'all saw one that's in my empties. So real talk, when I say Holy Grail, this is Holy Grail. Now... I'm gonna use the same brush I used to put to finish off my um to finish my eyes. Don't shade me. That's just what I do now. Okay, that's just what I do. So I'm gonna dip it and I'm gonna go like this. I'm just gonna work one side first. Alright. And I like to make sure I swoop this around. Actually, I'm gonna take my earring off. All right, I'm not using a lot. I'm going for bare minimum. Bare minimum. Bare minimum. I don't want a lot of coverage, and I feel like I don't need a lot of coverage. Okay. Um, I feel like my skin is at a point where the base of it is is a nice base. I put the, uh, you know, I have my nice, uh, I have my nice face routine, my day routine, my night routine, um, keep my skin healthy and everything. And I'm not doing a lot. I'm just like I was stating in my previous video about the filters got you fucked up. I just do enough. Like before I used to be over the top. Now I'm just doing enough. Like I still have a little hyperpigmentation right here. If I want to, I'll just put a little dab a little bit more on my face and keep moving. 
All right, and I'll, you know, always hit that chin. I don't come all the way down on the neck. <clears throat> excuse me, excuse me. I don't come all the way down on my neck because, for one, I don't want to get the collars of my shirt dirty. Two, I feel like just coming down, just like right up under, right here, under the chin, neck area right here where the neck meets the, the chin, just right there, just a little bit to blend it down just enough, right? All right, so this is, this is the side that I just finished. And this is the side that is not done. Big difference. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a nice subtle look. Let me just do 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 full frontal. Nice little subtle difference. And you know, I don't mind walking out the streets with plain Jane face. You know what I'm saying? So but yeah. Let me get a couple of more drops. And shout out, like I said, shout out to y'all for hanging out with me. Um, because I know I could get long-winded with my videos, but I'm detailed to a point where maybe I'm too detailed or whatever. But I want y'all to I want y'all to get this simple face and everything. So again, let me just move the earring out of the way. I'm blending. Quick downward strokes, and I'm coming up under the chin. And like I said, just enough. Just enough. Move this back a little bit. Make sure I touch that hairline like I need to. I always sweep like this. I feel like that's just perfect to get right up under the eye and angle it. You know, so I got the excess concealer that was over here and everything. And yeah, I'm just making sure I love this. Like, this is my favorite brush for everything. Like this it cosmetic dual dual in the brush. Ooh, I love it. I love it. Y'all for real, for real. All right. So do I want to do a little bit more just right around here? Like I said, that's where my slight hyper pigmentation is. So I'm just going to take a little bit more time and do that. I'm gonna get a little dab. Just a like I said, this is almost done. I gotta go like this. There you go. See that little dab? Just a little. And I'm gonna take that and just hit certain areas. And then come back over here. Just to make sure. Just evenly distributing. I'm going back on the eye. Uh, right up under here because i don't feel like i got that area too good all right here we go all right that's it for the foundation skin still looks natural i'm not trying to do the most you understand i'm not trying to do the most matte waterproof foundation nw45 okay so now what i want to do um i want to take this glossy air concealer it's called woo, 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 woo. oh i forgot what it's called oh it's called stretch concealer stretch concealer corrector stretch whatever i just do it with my finger i take this and then i just go like this normally i will use my um my mac concealer but that's if I want, if I'm going out, you know what I'm saying? If I'm going out, you know, hang out, I don't want to say party, just hang out, enjoy the company of other people uh, for a few hours, I will use my MAC concealer that I showed you guys in my own empties video. Make sure you go check out that empties video. It was a lot. It was a lot of empties. Do not talk about my nails. I'm going to go get a feeling today, Okay. <laughs> I'll come up here and give y'all the real business. I ain't got time to be making sure everything's cutesy and perfect every time. You know what I'm saying? I would never give y'all content ever again if I did that. So I'm using this concealer. It just brightens just enough to wake the eyes up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Just to wake my eyes up under, under eye a little bit. That's the whole point of doing the concealer under the eye. To wake the face up, brighten the center of your face, right? All right, so I'm gonna take some right here in the center, come down the center of my nose. 
I like this concealer. I really do. It does what it needs to do. I'm coming down the center again. And just, I'm just evenly distributing it right here, like a rainbow right here in the center of my forehead and coming down the center of my nose. And then I'm gonna hit it here, in the center of my chin, okay? And that's it, that's it. So I'm taking that. Listen, I did a I did a review on this. I love this stuff. I highly recommend it. Try it out. Boom. Now, I'm going to take my... Ooh, what do I want to use? You know what? I'm not going to use the Sasha Buttercup. The Sasha Buttercup is for, again, going out. Like, when I need this face to last a long time type thing. I'm going to use this CoverGirl... Um, True Blend. And the color I'm using is Tawny. I also have it in Sable, but the Sable is, is more to set around the outer perimeter of my face. The Sable, the, what is this one? The Tawny is for the center because, you know, a little bit lighter, like I said, to brighten up the face. So I'm just going to set, just going to set where I put the concealer with the powder that's it like that and then i'm gonna i know y'all like girl you using the same brush again yeah i am it's less shit to clean i'm telling you this is like one of my favorite brushes i could do a lot with this brush and it gets the job done as big daddy king would say i work i get the job done but you see how it's just brightening up where I need to brighten it right up under the eye and everything where I put the concealer. All right. So that's that. I want to shout out to Lori because Lori put me on to this true blend. Okay. And now, so that's that. Now I'm going to bronze just a little bit, just well, contour, whatever you want to call it, just a little bit. I'm going to um take my black radiance, y'all wore this joker out see i say just a little bit because it's just a little bit in here and i don't need a whole lot so i'm just gonna wake it up a little bit it's not that serious okay just a little bit just a little bit and i'm like i'm gonna come here come here i'm gonna do right up here right up here and come around my face and just come down do that on the other side i did hit my nose a little bit that's a little bit now that's that now i'm gonna come back with my elf turks and caicos and just do the same thing just the same thing just add a little bit more warmth to the space that's it and keep it going like this and that's it just come on down and yeah let me just do this real quick i just feel like i just want to make sure all right so that's that just to warm up the face just a little bit more that's it's i'm not going hard guys i'm not going hard in this paint trust Trust and believe me, I'm not going hard in this paint. Now, next thing I want to do is I'm going to go with a blush, but I'm going to go with this soft pink one because, again, I'm I, I'm going for just every day. Um, I will use my Taraji. I will use my Taraji, you know, for upping it up, upping the ante up. So I'm just going to take my little fluff brush and go like this make sure i get that rose on my cheese girls i'm just i love blush i don't have no uniform for my blush i just go like this that's it simple and sweet it's just to warm the face up and give it more definition that's it 
get that apple, get that get, put that smile on, get that serious look. Yeah. And that's it. So I just love blush. Sometimes I just go too heavy with the blush, but I love blush. That's it. I love it. Yeah. I love blush. And it just wakes the face up more. That's it. That's it. All right. Now I'm going to go in with this black eyeliner from, hold on. I'm sorry. I'm off the camera. Let me sharpen the pencil a little bit from Ulta. I can't believe I could not remember Ulta in the last video. That was like a major ass brain fart. Like, ugh, early, early ass dementia. <laughs> but anyway, so I'm going to take the sponge and bring it down a little bit. Because I just want to hit that waterline. For real, for real. And see how it just wastes, just, just keep, it's a process. Keep waking this face up, y'all. You don't need a lot. Like I said, I just do enough to to um bring out my favorite to highlight my favorites on my my favorite parts of my face or natural beauty or whatever. Boom. Now that's that. Now I don't do lashes. <sighs> One, but I am going to do lashes for a video purpose only because I was gifted some lashes and I feel like that's the, that's the best way to show appreciation for that gift is to do that. Now I'm doing a lash primer. The lash primer is Lancome. So I'm just going to go like so. I don't never do the top, like go on the top. Like I don't do that. That's just me personally. I don't know why. I never felt the need to. But shout out to those who do. I just don't. Yeah. All right, so I got that coated. Y'all already know this bay. This bay, y'all. So I'm going to whip on some mascara. And this is enough for me. I just, like I did lashes in the past and I just felt like they snatched off my natural lashes. And I'm like, they got, they grew back. You know what I'm saying? So I just can't, oh. Oh, I hate it when I do that. I accidentally poke myself. Well, I ain't gonna say poke because if I poked, it would have hurt a little bit. It would have hurt. I accidentally rubbed my eye with the um the mascara brush. So I'm just separating the lashes. I'm trying to anyway. It's like I say, y'all. It's hard for me to see in this camera, but y'all already see the difference in without the mascara and with the mascara. And if you ask me why do I use the primer, the primer elongates the lashes. They are they it helps separate them. So when you're doing the actual mascara, you don't get the clumps and stuff, you know. So yeah, so that's the um, two reasons why I like the primer. It helps separate the lashes and set them, elongate them, kind of like giving them a like a mini perm, if that's what you want to call it. And yeah, just makes the mascara easier to apply and it don't clump up it doesn't clump them lashes together i hate it when them lashes get clumped together so i'm just doing the other one and again thank you guys for hanging out with me because i know these videos are long so i appreciate y'all's time and hanging out with i'm just jackie again i'm just trying to get my beautiful sky it. So look, y'all already see the difference. So I'm about to go ahead on and mascara this up. Yeah, yeah. About to do that. See how they already separated, and I'm just, you know. Sweeping them a little bit. 
Now, let me do one more pass. One more pass. I just want to, like, get them to go. Just making sure they're elongating. Uh, all right. Boom. All right, so that's the lashes, y'all. Now I want to do one more thing. You don't have to do this, but I like to do it. I like to go up under and, like, do a line. It just makes it look thicker. That's all. Right up under the lash line. Just to me, it just makes it look thicker. Let me see. I'll just pull it up real quick. And I just go like this. All right. Bam. That's that. Let me do one more, one more thing. One more lash thing. I, I don't really have bottom lashes. I got a little bit, but I don't come all the way over. I just do the corner of the eye. That's it right here. I don't do no more. I don't do no less. I just get the few hairs that's right there in the corner. And keep it moving. All right, we making progress, y'all. So, now, the end all be all, almost done. Uh, what am I going to do for my lip? Okay, so, mm, I want to keep a soft, natural, soft, natural lip. So, I'm going to line it with this, the same liner that I use for my, my brows. Because it's a nice... Nice, uh, soft brown. And I already moisturized my lips with my moisturizer. All right. So, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take Pops from NYX. Go like this. Put it right there in the center. I call this my Olivia Pope look because y'all remember in Scandal that she always had that soft pink look, but she always had that brown on the outer part where it just really looked like her natural lips. Like she didn't have no lipstick on and like she just used like some kind of clear gloss. That's the, that's the look I'm going for. So let me let that do what it's do. And now I'm going to finish my face with, what do I want to finish it with? I'm going to finish it with, mm, I don't have another face brush with me. So I'm going to use this. Um, I want to finish it off with my MAC MSF. And you're going to be like, well, you put your, it's all going to blend, boo. It's all going to blend. You know what I'm saying? I'm just going to dab. All that stuff going to blend. Okay. That's all I do. All right. Come right up under that chin. Make sure I hit all points right there. Set, set, set. And honestly, that's it. Now, if you want to, for my gloss girls, y'all can come back. With, with a gloss on top of it. I really don't want to gloss it, but I'm just going to do it for video purpose. Um, This is the... Is this the... What's this one? Bossy. This one's called Bossy. So I'm just going to take a little bit right in the center. I really don't want to gloss it. And that's it. I'm not going heavy with it. Yeah, and that's it. Face is done. Hold the phone. This is what we're going to do. Mm, we're going to set it with this um, Wet n Wild Fini Matte. Matte finish. Let it do what it do. And listen. So, 
with all that being said this is the simple natural face that you guys can serve up and every day every day face every day face whether it's work hell if you want you want to go out and play you could do this face for play too you know what i'm saying so but this is it hold on let me wake this hair up a little bit mr my hand and i'm gonna put a little spray oil too you know then i'm gonna rub it together and i'm just gonna go like this and run my fingers and wake up this hair a little bit i know girls and boys i have really not talked about my natural hair in forever have not been given updates like i said i was gonna give updates but life happens, you know what I'm saying? But I'm here now, so we'll see what happens in the future. But yeah, this is the latest and greatest that was what's going on with I'm Just Jackie's uh, natural hair. You know, everybody knows I'm on a, I'm doing locks now, so. But listen, y'all should have seen it yesterday. It was all curled up and stuff. I used the, uh, whatever those bendable rod thingies are. But I'll come back and one day and show you guys exactly what i've been up to how i've been taking care of this hair when i'm not going to see others to take care of the hair i just want to push it back so y'all can get this whole face Woo! i get all the way to the end and i start hot flashing what the hell guys what the hell i'm hot flashing now what's going on but uh, anyway i'm here let me know what you guys think about this simple ass face Everyday face, y'all. Everyday face. You're not doing too much. The man, your man's gonna love it. Cause a lot of men don't like all that glitz and glam shit. Every now and then, they come on. We're going out, baby. Get jazzed up. Boom, love it. But just every day, give them this everyday natural. They love it. They love it, girls. They love the everyday natural. So, but yeah. So y'all see the face. I'm trying to. My goal was Marilyn Monroe tees. But I'm gonna have to, like I said, curl that, you know, put the rods back in again. And but here we go. Here we go. I'm here. All smiles. And until the next video. I hope y'all enjoy. Deuces.